people need to, and maybe people know the story, but to me it's fascinating. You tapped out on music for a minute, like you were done. Not finished in the commercial sense, but like you as a man. Yeah, you, you know, there was, there, was, there was certainly a period of time where, where things weren't great, and you know, nobody else's fault but my own. I don't want to be one of those little whiny musician guys going, oh, it's so tough and so hard. I made some bad, bad choices and uh, ended up in, in not a good place uh, living back in Dublin and um, blamed music for, I think, my, uh, my state of mind yeah. instead of blaming myself. I don't want to hear music anymore. I don't want to play guitar anymore. I'm done. I'm going to do, do something else. And so I put the guitar away and went to try and do something else. But you're just kidding yourself. I mean, yeah. you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a lifer when it comes to rock and roll, and I'm trying to deny that was the worst thing that I ever did. I, you know, I was working in a gym, you know, at, for about a week, and this guy came in and recognized me, basically offered me a publishing deal on the spot, yeah. and it was a lot of money, and I needed the money at that point in, in, in my life really badly. And he, because you played him a song yeah. that was kind of not like anything you had done. Well, before, you know, the right? Almighty's catalog was, was up, and, and that obviously was worth something, so he was very interested in that, and he then asked me, do you have anything else? And I said, well, I've, w I've written one song on acoustic guitar in the last year that's very different. It's kind of got a Hank Williams, Johnny Cash kind of vibe to it. And he went, I'd like to hear it. And I went, all right, you know, you, you can hear it, but I'm telling you, I'm done, you know, I'm not, I'm not going to play anymore. Yeah. And so I gave him everything and he heard the song and he went, this is th this acoustic song, he said, is really good. You should yeah. do more of that, e explore that side. Because I was singing for, in the, in the Almighty, I used to, what I said, I used to shout in tune. But it was all, like, but it was all, yeah. It was all coming. It was angry, you know. Mm -hmm. So that one song, I was really sort of singing for the first time, and obviously it was a bit more laid back, being an acoustic song. And he just said, you know, I think you could be good at this. And um, he uh, obviously, obviously offered, offered me the deal, which enabled me to literally get back into making music straight away. I had money and to, to go and demo and make some stuff. And then I had the conversation with with Joe Elliott. You know, from Def Leppard, he said, "I've got the studio. Let's go make the record." Oh, awesome! You know, and that gave me the because my confidence was shot. I mean, I'm 30 years old. I've no management. I've no publishing deal. I've no record deal. You know, I haven't had 10 years of, you know, fantastic, you know, tours and, and records with the Almighty. Suddenly, it all just grind to halt. It was my fault. Yeah. You know, um, so suddenly, my confidence is back, and I'm going down this new path with this more sort of stripped down acoustic sound that I hadn't. With, listen, if you said to me, you're going to be standing on stage playing solo acoustic, you know, 20 years ago, I'd have laughed at you because yeah. I thought, no, I'm not getting up there without my well, wall, yeah. of, my wall the, of marshals and, you know, the my guitar turned all like the way that, up, yeah. you know. But there I was doing it and it was the best thing and, and suddenly I started to appreciate how songs are written. I had the confidence to stand on stage on my own with a guitar and and sell it and play a show, you know, with, with nobody to, around me to rely on. And that builds up your confidence, it builds up your singing skills and your songwriting skills because, you know, if you suck, people are going to hear it straight away and they'll yeah. let you know. Yeah. So, you know, again, a blessing in disguise and, uh, you know, thanks to, to Joe and the, the guy's name was Dara Kettle, he worked for Peer Music at the time. Those two guys really um, sort of turned my life around at a very, very low point.